Next year, in the year of 2021, if you guys would like me to, I can do a history about Mini Money. Konnichiwa, Minamo. And here I am with the next video. Hi everyone, it's Edo4 back in again with another video. And for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about my favorite Japanese group of all time, Mini Moni. So like the video I done before for the Thailand group Raptor, this will be the complete history of Mini Moni and the member's career from the beginning to the end. During this video, you're going to see me move a lot because recently my apartment is shutting down. But the good news is, is that I'll be living in another one right near this place. Even though I made a lot of memories and friends here, a new one in this chapter of life will begin. Now, when I first heard of, about them, it was in 2009 when I was 12 years old. And I feel now is the time that I shared their history with you all from what I can remember. Also, before I begin, I recently did a vote where people say if I should do this video in English or in Japanese. And looking at the results, I have gotten both. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for this video. And especially to add English and Japanese subtitles as well. So, ikimashou! So, when making a group, you gotta have members that at least know each other or at least heard about each other. And in the year of 1998, this is where it all begins with the leader Yaguchi Mari, born on January 20th, 1983, in Yokohama, Japan. In May of 1998, Yaguchi joined as a new member to be in the up-and-coming group called Morning Musume, which would be called Morning Daughters in English, produced by Tunkun. She's joined alongside with Yesta Kale and Ichi Saka, and they are the first new members to be in the group of the second generation of Morning Musume. But they would not be the last. And this is the group that just started from late 1997 as well. And they made their first track with the new members that is their second single called Summer Night Town. On that same year, Yaguchi was in another group called Tampapo, which means Dandelions, along with the first generation of Morning Musume, Irakori, in Ishugu Aya. And this was the third project that Tunkun has produced. Ima, we're going to move to the next year with the next member of Mini Moni. And her name is Mika Teresa Todd, the second leader of In Command, born next year after Yaguchi of May 28 in Honolulu, Hawaii. In March of 1999, Mika along with Ayaka, Danielle, April, and Chelsea were chosen by Makoto, Tunkun's friend and bandmate from Shuren Q, to come along to Japan and form Coconuts Musume, which was Tunkun's sixth project artist. This is not to be confused with Country Musume that started around the same year. But on that note, rest in peace to Hiromi Yanguhara. She was the original member who has unfortunately passed away due to a car accident after she just began her debut for Country Musume. In July is where they have debuted their first single called Halation Summer, which is a foggy summer, and the English version of Summer Night Town. At first, Morning Musume were concerned because they were worried that Coconut's Musume would take their spot. 
but thankfully that wasn't the case. Finally, we're going to move on to the third and last members of Meanie Money, and they are Tsuji Nozomi, born in 1987, June 17th of Tokyo Itabashi City, and Kagoai, born on February the 7th, 1988 in Yamamoto Kawa, Nara, Japan. I personally prefer them as the comic release. Now, Tsuji and Kago has been joined alongside of Ishikarika and Yoshi Hitomi as the fourth generation of Morning Musume of new members. Their first appearance was in the second Morning Musume movie called Pitch Runner. So now we're about to move on to the next chapter. Now I know you guys think I'm forgetting another member, but she's going to come later into the story. So please, kinishinai de kudasai. Itte mi yo. Now at this time, the group Morning Musume and other groups and solo artists that are signed to Zetima Records and produced by Tunkun has made a bigger names for themselves called Hello Project. And now is where they're going to have their own television show called Hello Morning on TV Tokyo. The first episode aired on April 9th, 2000 on a Sunday. Four episodes later is when they introduced the fourth generation members for Morning Musume. The biggest change that really happened was Kago and Rika became the new members of Tampopo with Yaguchi and Ida. Their fifth single from the result was called Otome Pastani Kando, which translated as The Girl Excited by Pasta, and released on July the 5th of 2000. And Aya had graduated after the song last year called Love Machine. Yossi becomes the new member to a group of Gotomaki and a member since 98, Yasuda Kel, that has a similar name of what I'm talking about today, which is called Pucci Moni, or Petite Moni for other references, which Ichi has graduated as well, with their second single called Seishun Jitai, The Age of Youth, one, two, three, released in July the 25th of 2000. Her last single with the new members of the fourth generation was called Happy Summer Wedding. In episode 13 of Hello Morning, Yaguchi has teamed up with Kago and Tuji in a pro wrestling competition called Young Morning. That was their group name, which later it would be changed to Mini Money which they won the championship belt of 2000 Crush. As a lot of comments say for the video that is posted on YouTube for this episode that aired in the 25th of June, this was the start of Meanie Moni. Now my huge speculation theory of how Meanie Moni has gotten started was Yaguchi was being super close to an adult but yet during her teenage year, she was looked upon as a child. So I believe her thoughts have said, Watashi wa juhachi desai. Demo kodomo no mite minareru shicho no watashi ni se desu. Daka jibun no no group daskeru no ikinai. Mina no dashi ni some suru tame ni the way I can prove this is during their Herald Project concert in the 12th of August in 2000, which held, this is Hello Morning's 21st episode on that was aired on the 27th of August. On the interlude of the concert shown is Tuji, Kago, and Yaguchi making their own anthem that is about their own heights. The next group that comes beside them is Coconuts Musume with their song and the outfits from Watashi Mo I Love You, Me Too, released on July the 26th of 2000, making it their fourth single. Lihawa Sambo became the new member during their third single since Chelsea Ching 
in April, Barbarian has graduated earlier in 2000. So what they have asked them was, is this, and thankfully Ayaka and Mika helped out in translating the questions for Yaguchi. Uh, why are you the leader? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So that's why Yaguchi is 17 years old, and the most old age. And the most sexy age of the three of us is the most sexy age of the three of us. She's 13 years old. You're the oldest and the smallest. Now we'll be moving on to their own segment of where Mika becomes the Gorilla Glue of Minimoni. On the 26th episode of Hello Morning, Yaguchi, Kago, and Tuji celebrate while participating in their new dance step from Natsuya Sensei on October 1st of 2000. And yes, her name is Summer. So their summer teacher has been with them since the beginning of Morning Musume in 97. And she is also here to help them to become the next and true level of Minimoni. Finally, is their segment called Minimoni Jija, meaning small, or tiny. And this video right here is what became a meme years later. This will be explained later on as well as this video continues. Their first episode was from the start on the 28th episode of Hello Morning of the 15th of October. This is where Mini Moni had a special guest appearances from Kochi Yamarada or Yamachan for short. He is well known for another popular show on this station of TV Tokyo called Oha Star that started around the same time as Morning Musume and known for a lot of dubbings, animes, and other roles from Japan and worldwide as well. At first, they were thinking that they were a comedy group, but Minimoni had explained to them that they were a musical group. But they weren't signed by Tunkun yet. But in their favor, Oha Star has agreed to put their little segments on their show about from Minimoni. After they have left, Yaguchi had an idea to put a fourth member in the group. And her name was Tamara Yoko, which is a famous judo artist since she was 10 years old. Born in September 6th of 1975. Since she was the same height as them, Yaguchi believed she would fit perfectly with them. And a week later, she could be in TV Tokyo studio to join them. But once the week came around, Yaguchi could not get a hold of her. Especially because at that time, she was trying to train to be in the next Olympics. Yet, Yaguchi had another plan in mind. She chose someone that Kago and Tuji are not only familiar with, but they're the same height as them as well. And that person was Mika Teresa Todd. In their second episode of Mini Moi Chichai, Mika has appeared on October the 22nd of Hello Morning's 29th episode. Besides her height being the same as them, her other skills involves English. And since she was from Hawaii, Yaguchi believed that adding her could be the real diversity to the group as well. And thankfully, she was right. Now, by September of 2000, they could not wait any longer. They needed to be produced by Tunku right away. And from the help from Becky from Oha Star, their plan had succeeded in releasing their first single of the start of 2001. And they performed it during wintertime 
of another show that they're on and host a lot called Musics. And at this point forward, we're going to move to the chapter three of 2001. Nisei Ichi. Here we come. Now, I have to say, starting off with this chapter, they really did a lot in their debut year, and especially uh, accomplishments, too. I would say the biggest thing I've ever really accomplished in that time in 2001 was asking my parents to ride the regular bus since I had special needs. But this is enough about me. We got to move on to Mini Moni. All right, there we go. For starters, they were the 11th project that Tunkun has produced, and they released their first single on the 17th of January in 2001 called Jack and Pyong. For those who doesn't know what Jack and Pyong means, it's the game of rock, paper, scissors in the US. Other names in Japanese of is Jack and Pong or Jack and but Pyong is usually just a word that they made up, although as translated, it's boing. So in a way, it could be Jack and Pyong. For their first music video that is called a promotional video, uh, this video was filmed on a green screen, but the results are very uskushi and very unique. And also, the pink bunnies that you see in the music video, they're called Mini no chans, and bunnies in Japan are called Usagis. The song of it itself is talking about Jankin being true to yourself while staying healthy at the same time. The next song off of the first single was called Haru Natsu Aki Fuyu Daisuki which is the spring, summer, autumn, and winter I love. This song is talking about all the seasons and why they love them. And while it translates from the English and Japanese in the lyrics as well, the, the PV for this one was made on Oha Star that they perform on the stage of Hello Morning, which it's a different stage than what it was in the first season. The video shows the celebration, random kids, and eating cake. Once their first single was released, it made it to number one on the Ocon charts for 17 weeks, meaning these songs stay for Habun Go Mata Lokutsuki. It's just half of five months or six months in Japan. The Ocon charts are like the Japanese billboard or sound scan, while this has sold 763,380 copies. The Mini Moni Chichai segment is still going at this time. In this particular episode, it was Yaguchi's birthday on the same month as their first CD has debuted, which was aired 11 days after their first single was in stores, and this was the 42nd episode of Hello Morning, and also Yaguchi's 19th birthday. But their adventures doesn't stop there. During February and autumn of 2001, Mini Money has made multiple television appearances outside of Hello Morning with their own cartoon anime from Oha Star called Yadura the Pyong, just do it, Pyong, that had 70 episodes and showed their character animation side to the world. Their appearances were nonstop of video games, merchandising, magazines, comics, and CMs, which are commercials. But then a bigger change happened by the end of the summer. Morning Music may once again have auditions for their group since Yuko Nakazawa has graduated, and the new members was Makoto Ogawa, Asami Kono, Ninaki Risan, and most importantly, Takashi Ai. 
where she was born on September the 14th, 1986 in Fuku, Sakaara, Japan. And the first song that was Morning Musume was their, the 13th single called Mr. Moonlight. I know big goodbye. It's the love of the big band. Release of Halloween 2001. But a month before release, Minimoni's second single called Telephone Goes Ring, Ring, Ring. Their second single was released on the 12th of September. The song along with it is Bus Guy. Not only this is their second single that made it to number one again in the charts, but this is also a talk more about their merchandising of cell phones, makeup, and camera, all made into Mini No Chan's fashion. One of their last projects that they have done in 2001 was appear in this was the first anime I've ever seen called Hamataro, but they were in the movie called Adventures in Ham Ham Land. Ham Ham Land Die Balkan, released on December the 15th, 2001, with their own song called Mini, Mini Hams, I Know You Da. It's the Mini Hams love song, which is the hamster version of themselves. Unfortunately, this movie, along with other movies of Hamtaro, did not come out in the U.S., even though the popularity of the show was really huge, and their show came after the year of this particular movie. But on that note, happy 20th anniversary to Spirited Away. That's right, Shiro. Mini Moni with Moni Musume performed the soundtrack along with the Mini Hams in the 16th Japan Golden Award, but please correct me if this is not the right name of the performance of the show that they're on. Please let me know in the comments. Speaking of Takashi Ai and Minimoni's own movie, it's coming next on the chapter of Nisei Jine. In the new year of Nisei Nichinen, Minimoni released their third single called Hina Matsuri and Strawberry Pie, released on January the 30th of 2002. A Hina Matsuri, which is known as Girls or Dolls Day, it starts from February 3rd all the way to March the 3rd, and it celebrates girls of all ages and also displays dolls that represents the family while dressing up in kimonos. And everyone has their own special day too. So we could definitely see why this song has won number two on the Okan charts and has been a unique tradition since 1625. During this time, their popularity grew into more sketches on Hello Morning with this particular one of them being aliens trying to take over the world while learning human technology and defeating enemies such as Hamataro, Pikachu, and Bad's Maru from Hello Kitty, and so many more. And this has been a skit that started earlier from the 7th of October in 2001. Their fourth single is a collaboration from the late and great comedian known as Shimuriken, also as Bakatono, and many other funny and memorable characters. Their song that they did together is called Ain Taiso and Ai Dance No Yuta. So we're having an Ain exercise along with an Ain dance song as well. This was released on April the 24th during that year. Also editing Edo here to say that their 101st episode of Hello Morning was the second celebration episode dedicated to Mini Moni. Their first album that they released on June the 26th was called Mini Moni Song Dai Haka Ikan, which is their Encyclopedias of Songs Volume 1. One of their last projects during that year was not only they got to be in Hamtaro's second movie, but also they finally got their own movie called Okashi na Daiboken, which is their Great Cake Adventure released on December the 14th. The movie is about Minimoni having their own bakery 
And just as they were about to celebrate their second anniversary, an evil princess known as Naka ja Naka Jalenu, played by Yuko Nakazawa, and her minions known as Four Kids, which is actually Hello Project Kids, just just in case we there's some confusion in the chat. Now it's up to Minimoni, Takashi Ai, and their fridge to put everything back together and reveals that eating sweets is okay while being in also their own animation form. By the end of the movie, Yaguchi has decided to leave the business to Mika and have Takashi join in too so she could take care of the kids since they are now human. And as you all know, this scene is a real adaptation of Yaguchi graduation from Minimoni, which is in our next chapter of 2003. Yes, my Tomodachis, Yaguchi has graduated from Minimoni, but she passed the role on to Mika. In August of last year, she has graduated from Tampapo along with Kago and Ida, and now Takashi Ai has took place of a new member of being in Minimoni. Before we get into more of Yaguchi's graduation story, the next singles that they released during this time was called Rock and Roll Kencho Shouzuichi, The Memory Lessons. So we're going to rock and roll of the prefecture states, governments from Japan. Released on 9th April of 2003. For those that doesn't know, this is actually a cover song from the legendary soft voice artist named Chisato Moitaka, who made this song 11 years ago, but she helped them write the lyrics to the song. Yes, we sunny 8008, I'm just as bikurishita as you are. Their last single for that year was called Kazeo Uta Afuo and Deto Version. It's the counting song for the bath and the dating version, released on May 14th of this same year. Yaguchi's actual graduation from Minimoni officially was by spring of 2003. The last activity she has done with them is Pyong Sejin Kappa's Minimoni de TV from Oha Star that also featured Gotomaki, Utaban, and etc. Yaguchi really wanted to graduate from Minimoni because she not only wanted to work on her own project along with Mimoni Musume, but also she wanted to work more project with Hello Project Kids and they formed Zix, which is gonna be talked about later. But thankfully she passed her ideas and responsibilities to someone she really trusts, especially since she was the one that was chosen three years ago to be the perfect height for diversity for them. And that person is Mika. She understands that Mika has always been by her side and has, and has never abandoned her role, especially since Coconut's Musume was still around at this time. So now we're going to move on to the final years of Minimoni. Here we go. The first thing I would like to start off is uh, two singles that I've previously missed was the Minimoy soundtrack for their movie, which was released on November the 22nd of 2002, and their whole brand new look, which was Crazy About You. No, this is not a translation for that. It is pure English. Released on October in 2003, this song has reached teen and adult topics about love. Not to say that their last songs didn't include those topics, but this is really shows a deeper and more adulter side of Mini Moni. Another segment that they had on Oha Star was called Mini Moni Yoroshiku, 
And it's very nice to meet you too, Meanie Moni. One of their last singles that they released is called Lucky Cha 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 on April the 21st of 2004, along with their last album called Meanie Moni Songs 2, released in February 11th earlier that year. In May of 2004 is when the group Meanie Moni has officially disbanded. Everyone in the group really wanted to work on their own project during this time. Their last appearances was on Hello Morning of May the 9th, while Morning Muse May performed their 22nd single called Roman My Dear Boy, released two days after this episode aired, with Yaguchi, Takashi, Tsuji, and Kago still in Morning Muse May during that time. In this episode, they play games while sharing their greatest moments on Hello Morning, and this was their fifth and last celebration special on Hell Morning, with also their last segment skits of them being old ladies. And now this is where the chapter of me Moni has to close. But there is still more to come, especially during their aftermath. Especially to say, where are they now? Let's first start off with Yaguchi Mari. In 2003, her group Zix, even though it was short-lived, released two singles, Iku Zix Fly High. Let's Fly High Girls, released on August 6. Lastly, their second, second and last single was called Shiroi Tokyo, which makes sense because it was snowy time in Tokyo. That was released on December 10th of the same year. And the kids that were in the group have later become in Hello Project's Cute and Barry's Kobo. It's the Barry's Workshop. One of the second to last projects she was in was Hello Project All Stars, which is the collaboration of every Hello Project group after Meanie after Mini Moni. Their song was called All for One and One for All, released on December the 1st of 2004. On that note, her last single with them was the their 26th single called Osaka Hoi no Yuta, which is the Osaka love song, released before my 8th birthday on April 27th of 2005, but still worked from Hello Project from time to time while working on her own song and even acting to this day. Secondly is Mika Teresa Todd. After Meanie Moni, she left to, to study music in California with her father, Johnny Todd. Been on live tour with him since a year before she graduated from Meanie Moni. Third to last is Takashi Ai. After Meanie Moni was finished, she was still in Mori Musume, even after Yaguchi, Tsuji and Kago had graduated years later. So on that technical note, she has been in Morning Musume for the longest time. She was still on the show at Hello Morning until their last episode of 2008. Her last single with Morning Musume, which was their 47th single, that was a dual single translated as I Really Wish There Was Peace on Earth, along with I Want to Shop With Him. Released on September the 14th of 2011. The fourth to the last bunch is Tsuji Nozomi and Kagoai. Their story starts off with graduating from Morning Musume with their 23rd single translated as The Story of the Noisy Girls. Released on July the 22nd of 2004. Which they were the first members to graduate out of Minimoni and Mori Musume before Takashi and Yaguchi has left themselves. A last year before 2004, it was fun to point out that Tsuji has won the Hula Hoop World Record Series, lasting with the biggest Hula Hoop ever for 30 seconds. The dual group that they have formed for themselves was called W, which is Double of You. Their first single was called Coino Valency, which was the Peanuts cover of The Love Vacation, 
released in May 19th of 2004. Their first album included cover songs from Pink Lady, Wink, and many other old school idol artists. It was called It was called Dual UU on June the 2nd that same year. In the next year of 2005 was their second album called The Second W, released on March the 2nd. This album came with some more original songs than the last one from the last album. Their last single at the time was Ms. Love Tante, a detective, released on September the 7th, 7th of 2005 but also got back together for the Hello Project concert of 2019. Now before we get into the reasons of why I love Meanie Money, we got to get into the pop culture reference that, that made it to America. The first one was Jay Leno in 2006, where they celebrated Black History Month, where the drummer Marvin Smith was photoshopped as Yaguchi during the segment. In the next year was their popularity came from YouTube of the dramatic chipmunk. For the context sake, it's a prairie dog. On the episode of Hello Morning in September 26 and December 30th of 2000. And the plot was is that Meanie Money wanted to have a pet. And they were playing with them. And that was really it. It made it into Weezer's music video of Pork and Ve Beans. Now, what do I like about Meanie Money? The reason why I love Meanie Money, it was because there was so much different and better than the artists I grew up and listened to in the pop world. Most of the artists I grew up listening to in America they either all sounded or looked the same, except for Pink, Destiny's Child, and the Swedish group Play, which was produced by Beyonce's father. But they really opened the door to a brand new life for me when I was 12 years old to right now. Their costume speaks a lot of volumes of rainbows, park rangers, school kids, bakery clothes, and so much more. The roles I imagine them to be are Yakuchi Delir, she is the bossiest, angriest, prettiest, and the most serious one of all time. Mika, the second leader in command, the smartest, funniest, diversive, and also as serious as Yakuchi too. Tuji and Kago, the comic relief, but they are cute, smart, and the silliest ones ever in the group. Lastly, Takashi, the new member, but curious, southern, and a new coming leader into her own right. So now I'm going to explain how I first found them in Japanese. Since this is a Japanese group, please wish me the best luck of my Japanese. Ganbarimasu. Minimoni no hajime mita toki. 2009年1月号、自席。私は11歳でした。彼は私が来た5名人の日本人アーティスト自した。でも私が初めて来た日本語グループは少年ナイフ、そしてパフィでカートゥーネットワーク。私が7歳です。私はモーニングスメに Free web sato alimasu DJ Waffles. Hello Project o Ego Jimasuki video ga ada basho. Ego 
話して人が理解する。残念だから、そういうもんもありません。メガアップロードも、私たちが彼が来たスタッションの今日は、セカンドシングルポモソンビデオのミニモイテレフォン、リンリンリン。思いわずうなった。クレイメーションのハケ。ユニーク色を一緒。携帯電話とカメラな。声以上何が欲しい。可愛かった。初ガス。とて楽しいですね。私たちにはそれは人生の必要そうないか。私自身はそれが人生必要はでした。人生をだからです。と、カラーの同じイナジーの持てように、しかし、小学校にインストラクターを本当にだわ。私がこのフォーにこと許してありませんでした。しかし、私はタクロが変化、変更するのことできました。ありがとう、コーニー。ルイジアンにはたくさん友達といます。今と一体は若い人。今、びっくりしたみんなで、時に私は日本じゃない。子供の子はもう一生、正直、シャンジンマシでした。それは、私が、ハイダイマのコヤシでした。ミニモイの初めて、3歳でした。2000年に、モニミスメの初めて生まれたわでした。お母さんは本当に大好きで日本語。1991年でち,ちっちゃいと旗がだる3年,年。一緒にが今。これは彼女だ大空生の時。この女装を起用して私は彼女に衝撃のありました。でも嬉しい方。ありがとうママ。新鮮なクッキーの一服したいでした。私の人生で苗が違うものを見るために初めて来たい時は、グープは、カネしているように、そして、カエラのヒューマーは、私も、表見、抱き、抱きます。私の少年で、今日は、子供じゃない。私も、音なのです。でも、期待か、あれば、ミニモイの見つけたこと、ひろい思い。この時点から、6月25日、ミニモイの人、世間で、英語ね。I declare June the 25th of ミニモイ Day。ハッシュタグの応援してくれます。ミニモイの保険制限。二の還元。今は、今は英語で。ありがとう、Google Translate と p a b a g o and DeepL for helping me speak 日本語。Now we're back to English. So before we get to the shout out, I feel it is time to share my favorite member of Mini Moni, which is Mika chan. The reason why I loved Mika was because she was different than everyone else, but she wasn't really discriminated by that. For example, in the Chicha era, they all wear red while Mika wore blue, also because her height was 150 centimeters. <laughs> I'm 
思い出してこれは辻ちゃんが書いた詩でしょ歌ってせーの5678150センチ以下ほらほらよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いします When they would wear skirts, she would wear long pants along with having the American flag on the design of Minino chan too, especially since Hawaii is America. When she spoke English, I get super excited because I already know what she's about to say. On that note, her friend Ayaka continued Coconut's Musume even when they disbanded in 2002 and had a segment called. Ayaka surprise English lesson in English, but it's pronounced differently in Japan. Ayaka would surprise all the members of Morning Musume from the year of 2001 to 2002 while making them learn English. And there, were, there are some episodes where you can find Mika chan there too. And Ayaka officially graduated from Hello Project in 2008. When Mika was given the opportunity to be the leader of Mini Moni, she took it. Even though there was a lot of responsibilities and sacrifice she had to make, I believe she did very well and kept the group alive as long as she could. 11 years ago, I had a dog named Mika. Because of her, and also Mika the dog, was mixed from a German Shepherd to an Akita. So, Mika was really a perfect fit for her. Four years later, I gave her back to her original family because I felt at that time I would be too busy to take care of her in 2015 and presently right now. And I was right. But I really believe she's doing well right now, too. Especially since Mika is half Japanese and Australian, she's full bred American. And she looked like me, so that was another reason why I really liked her. Thank you, Yaguchi, for adding her to the group. There was also a moment where they got to see Tamara Yoko, the actual fourth member of Mini Moni, but she couldn't arrive. Her response on Hello Morning. Another fun fact about this book that I have right in my hands it's been 10 years since I first received it. And now it's going to be 20 years since this book was first published. Now, there was a new Mini Moni in 2011, but I am here to only talk about the OM, the original and final members of Mini Moni. I really hope this was the diversity that Yaguchi was talking about, because I believe in this group it inspired a lot of kids. In and outside of Japan to be themselves, have fun, go crazy, friendship, girl power, and most definitely and importantly, a being small can never stop you from achieving your dreams. Mini Moni forever. So now, here are the shout outs, which are. Life, in it, Life of the Angry Pig 2000 Presents, JJ Official Channel, My New Best Friend Aaron with、uh, his Instagram, Alma Mananak 25779, Nobori Japan, Japanese Minamon, The Minor Football League. Waffles, which is my best friend from 3300 and climbing, Juan, Makun, the Tommy K experience, FMB KBK, Cold, it's Clip, Family Travels, Part Time Jesus, Aria, Times, Ties Throwback, 8098. Great Japan, Prunes Be Trippin', Japanese Emmy Channel, Pillbox Movies, MC28-2362, Gogo Michael, Tofu Chan, Lakura's Clips, The International Channel for Life, Shiny 101, English Afternoon, an up and coming band called the Conte Matron. All the Girl Group, Mahawa, 
morning coffee subs. Hoke Poke, What's in My Head podcast, Yashi and Ike's Fun English, which is also the new member in 2017 of Oha Star, Happy Pita, Mina Luna Japanese, and now for the official ones here is Eon Hollis, because seven years ago he interviewed Mika. And that was like the last time I've seen her until I've recently found her, found her and all the other members in the social media. Yaguchi Mari, Mika Teresa Todd, Takashi Ai, Tsuji Nozomi, Kago Ai, and Boa. Because on the day this is released, this is going to be the 20th anniversary of her second album, Jumping Into the World. And also shout outs to 200 RST for um, putting the full video of the makings of. And also another good friend I just met today, Internet Nathan. And thank you all. Excuse me. Thank you all for watching this video to 40 sub friends. And all other friends who have followed me on other social media platforms too. And until next time, I'll see you all again. Madonna. And I'll make sure to see you all again. And she's joined alongside with Yusuke Kel and Ichi Sayaka. She joined along with Yusuke Kel and Ichi Sayaka. I don't want to see. <laughs> The show came after a year. A show did. And summer night time. Joined with as a new member of hmm, Yagu. <clears throat> In May of 1998, Yaguchi joined as the new member of. Uh, God. Okay. Like. Okay. The reason why I love Minimoni, it was because they were so much different and better than the artists I grew up in. The year before, Rack been in a live tour with him since a year. Ah. The reason why I love Mini Moni, it was because they were so much different and better than the artists I grew up. Oh man, I'm not liking this. Still being in the group of me. Uh, 
because of uh on the which is their great cake in, which is the The group made their first track with the new members that is called Wait. Ah. Uh, no. No. And she's joined alongside with Kaizo. I. And all other friends who. Are all right. Human technology and defend the defeat. Walter. Other names of what is called the Japanese. Other names of what it is called in Japan, Makoto, 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 Nino, Gato. For start, for those who don't know, that's the that. That same year, Yaguchi was in another group called Tampopo, which means Dandam. After their first single went into They made their first track ah, They made their first track with the new Oh no ah, So Sakahara Saka, Sakara Japan In Fuki Sakaha Saka In Fuki Saka, Saka Ara, and Fuki. So what they asked them, so what they have asked them was, and thank so much. Wait, oh god, that's me off. Ima, bikushi na da, toke watashi wa nihon janai de. Otomo no koro mo isho. Alright. She she's joined alongside with Yasta Kel and Ichi Saka. Shimoi no hajime sansai de ne. Minimoi no hajime de sani sai de shita. The Nissan Nissan Nimi. Yeah. <laughs> 